All right, fam, here we go. Uh, James Blunt, dude. I've reacted to one of James Blunt's songs, Monsters. And there's something about James Blunt I like. I like. Um, I know the song. My background on James Blunt was uh, You're So Beautiful. I heard that song. I was listening to that song during a breakup. Um, and the person I listened to liked that song. So I listened to it a lot. Um, but let's do this. Somebody had mentioned to me that there was a tearjerker, potentially a tough one. So let's go. I know the song's going to be fantastic. I'm imagining the song's going to be slower. And after all the heavy metal from Japan I've heard lately, uh, let's just change it up. All right, let's go. Darling, I know we talked about it one too many times how there was something missing in our lives mm. a little life dude so we tried it was more than just a twinkle in your eye but some things you just don't get to decide at least we tried you know, you can think about you can think about the look. I might have shrunk myself too low in that seat. You know, remember like when you tell your wife or you mention to your wife that I think it's time, you know? I think uh I think I want to try for a baby, you know? I think I want to make that happen, you know? And they give you that look, you know, that look like that's the greatest gift you could ever give me. You know, like, really? Are you sure? Are you sure you're ready for this? Like, man, it's so, so deep. Um, fatherhood is the greatest thing I've ever done. I have three children. I love them to death. I spend so much time with them. I'm at the pool with them the other day playing. And, you know, I'm taking my nine-year-old and we do like triple. You know, my son, my 13-year-old gets on my shoulders and then my nine-year-old gets on his shoulders, and even at 54, I stand him up, walk him around the pool, and push him up. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I love him so much, you know. I, words cannot express correctly how you feel. You know, when you got kids, and you're like, I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love, you know. No one gets it until you're a parent that, yeah. You're freaking lying. <laughs> you don't love me as much. You know why? I was a kid once. I had no freaking clue. If you haven't had kids and you're thinking about having kids, or maybe you're thinking that the world seems too dark and too negative right now to have, I mean, have kids. Have kids. It's the quickest thing that changes this 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 heap of crap we're involved in right now anyway. Um, have kids, raise them right. I mean, there's nothing more rewarding. And, you know, you think it's expensive or you hear, um, you know, it's a risk. Keeping them alive is a risk, you know. Um, but, man, there's just not a more rewarding thing. And I think about, you know, like my wife and I were just talking the other day about about holidays. And, and you know what? We don't need to make a big deal out of my birthday or her birthday or Father's Day or Mother's Day. And I thought to myself, like, dude. You're doing it wrong. Make a big deal out of everything, out of all of those events, out of all of those holidays. Make a big deal out of it because you're basically training your own children onto what they're going to think about Father's Day and Mother's Day later. So when you grow old, they care. They make a big deal because you might not get to see them as much as you think. So, you know, it's like... What goes around comes around. You know, there's that Bible verse that talked about what you do to the little ones in the kingdom, you do to yourself. And, you know, that verse might be talking about something else. But to me, the way I downloaded that is like if you're good to your kids, when you're reincarnated, you're probably going to be born to their kids. And the circle repeats. And hopefully you raise, raise, raise that bar to a point that, you know, you're going to be a good situation on your last go around. Um, I know the church doesn't believe in reincarnation, but when I was five, seven, I did. 
And I told my parents, I go, you're wrong. Uh, reincarnation is true. I know it's true. And I'll tell the preacher that today. I know it's true. Um, I'm on my last time around, but I'm raising my children in a way that I would be proud to be their kid or their kids' kids, hopefully, because I'm raising them a way where I know they're going to raise the bar for the next generation. Just do it better than you had it. You know, uh, anyway, dude, I got lost. Let's go. Uh, this is my favorite topic in the world. It's my favorite job in the world's being dad. Um, I love it. Oh, the pool story. Go back to the pool story. There's kids there with their dads. Their dads are there and they're, hey, is that your dad? You know, and then one of this, one, one little girl said to my daughter, she goes, man, I wish I had a dad like that. You know, and it's like her dad's there. He's even in the water touchy subject but get in you know be young i had my kids late and that's why like i learned to ride wheelies on my bmx bike at 50 you know i skateboard pools i learned how to skateboard pools with my kids because i was at the skate park like hey i'm gonna teach you some of the things to do like i did when i was young and i thought why don't i do this with them that's the quickest way for it to become something that we love together and now eight years later starting with my sons we have videos from every week of their life because we put it all on YouTube. So that's really pretty rad. Anyway, let's go. Let's get back into this. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid the vibe of this song is going in a negative place. The first casualty of life is the plan. When I look back, I'm not even sure that we were thinking. Somewhere. She's probably dancing with her blonde hair Falling like ribbons on her shoulders Just like we always saw Bright eyes spinning in circles in the sunlight Darling, we tried but now it's over We had it all and then we lost The girl that never was if I could say a million words to take away the pain What kills me is you're trying to take the blame You're not to blame I'll never say I told you so Sad I thought the words Try drowning you in happiness I hope Ha <sighs> I don't even know what happened What happened? What happened to her? Was she not born? Did she die in pregnancy? Did something, I mean, I, I saw video, of a little girl running. Was she born? Did she live a certain amount? And this is, this is the scary part of parenthood. I think about it all the time. And my wife will say, I'm going to run to the post office. It's a few miles away. And uh, are you going to take the kids with you? Are you going to leave them home? We got to a point where we're finally leaving our kids home. We've been somewhat helicopter parents just to keep them safe. And uh, um, I, I feel relieved in a way. Like, you're going to leave them home good. Because <laughs> like, if something happens in the car ride, like, I can't even imagine when my son, my 13-year-old Killian, gets the keys to a car. That's when real fear sets in. You know, where you think about a party i just i just heard that rainy street i'm down here by austin i'm on the outskirts i heard there's some serial you know uh k guy you know i can't say it serial it goes with serial it starts with a k um <laughs> running around down there dude and like the party part of austin and i can't even imagine the fear that happens when my 16-year-old starts to act like an actual 16-year-old. She's still younger because I kept her young. I want to keep her young. But I'm afraid, man. I'm afraid. No social media. No makeup. She still swims in the pool. She swims in the pool with alligator and a snorkel. And she still, she does it to scare the little kids, like in a fun way. And the little kids think there's an alligator in the pool. It's so cute. 
It's so cute. But she's growing up, man. But she's still here. I can't. My heart goes out to anybody that's lost a child. Let's go. <laughs> Caveman. You doing it again. Let's go. I gotta hear more. I never say I told you so. Sad of all the words. Try drowning you in happiness. I only make it worse. We never should have picked a name. Cause now she has a face. And now no matter what we do, no one will take her place. Somewhere she's probably dancing with her blonde hair. Falling like ravens on her shoulders. Just like we are. Is that like the child gate? Did they take in the child gate? Did they prepare for the baby? Um, I still don't know. I'm, I'm, I still don't know how it happened. Maybe they're going to tell me more in this video. Maybe I should have got it already. Probably. It's totally obvious. Someone says in the comments, like, dude, how did you miss this? That's what, that's what gets me. The, the scene, like, I mean, the people that make these videos for James Blunt know exactly what they're doing. Probably dancing with your blonde hair Falling like ribbons on your shoulders Just like we always saw They started this end screen a little early, didn't they? Wow. They lost the girl that never was. What happened? What happened? I'm looking at this next one here, James Blunt, who we used to be. Like, I feel like I gotta see that now. I've reacted to enough. These lights, you guys don't know how many lights are around to get that green screen to work. Holy, I mean, dude. Ah, you know what? That's the thing about fatherhood for me. You worry. You you do worry, you know. Um I've been blessed, and this is why you know, keep God first. Pray always, pray always. Be thankful, you know. Be thankful. It can change so quick. And I know there's going to be people in the comments that are going to tell me really sad stories. And you know what? I just want to say right now, my heart goes out to anybody that's lost a child. It's the worst imaginable thing ever. <sighs> Dear Lord, I want to pray now ahead of time for the people that are going to see this reaction, that are going to comment, they're going to tell me some of the hardest stories. I want to pray that you be their strength. <sighs> Give them strength, Father. Give them strength. It's love. It's all love. You know, it's all love. <sighs> Anyway, guys, <laughs> I got to go get some water. Anyway, I love you. Everyone take care. And uh, and uh, I'm going to go give my kids another hug and maybe take them back to the pool today. Maybe we'll do that again. So anyway, uh, love you.